Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can download and install the latest version of Python in Windows 10 operating system. The first thing that we have to do is we have to open up any browser installed in our PC. I have Microsoft Edge. I'm going to open it up. And in the URL section, we need to enter python.org, which is the official website of Python. And straight away, we can see the downloads option in this website. The latest version as of now is 3.9. And one thing that you have to remember is with the Python version 3.9, you can't use it on Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7, then you can install lower version of Python or, you know, you have to upgrade your operating system. Now here we want to download Python for Windows. Here we can see the Windows option. We're going to click on that and it will take us to this page where we can see the Python releases. The latest Python 3 release is Python 3.9.0. And here we can see that for the stable releases, Python 3.9.0, we can see the different files for downloading. For example, we can download the zip files, we can download the executable installer, web-based installer and other options. And also we can see the files for 32-bit and 64-bit operating system. Here, if you see x86-64, it is for the 64-bit. And if you see x86 only, then it is for the 32-bit operating system. Here I have the 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to download the Python installation file. That is the executable installer for the 64-bit operating system. Uh, if you don't know whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, then I have a video which explains how you can find out whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit. You can check that out. So here we're going to click on this uh, Windows x86-64 executable installer. Depending on your operating system, you can download the file. I'm going to download this one, executable installer. I'm going to click on that and the download has begun. So we will uh, wait for this download to finish. Okay, now the download has finished. I'm going to click on this show in folder option. It will open up the folder where we have uh, saved our download. Mine is in this downloads folder and you guys can see the file that we have downloaded. Now to install Python, what we have to do is we have to double click on this file. Now one important thing that we have to uh, do here is we have to check this add python 3.92 path this option what it does is it will add the location where we have installed python to the path environment variable so that we can run the python programs from any folder in this file system and after that if your computer has more than one user then make sure that you install python for all users and after that i'm not gonna you know make any modifications in here i'm gonna click on this install now option and if it asks for the permission, then click on yes. Now the uh, setup will be in progress and it will install Python in our computer. Okay, now it says uh, setup was successful. We will click on this close and we will close the folders and the uh, Edge browser that we have opened before. Now, if we click on this start button, then you guys can see the Python uh, installed in your computer. For example, you can see the IDLE uh, documentation, etc. I'm going to click on this IDLE and here this window will appear and you just need to type in print and after that in double quotes type in hello and after that hit the enter button and if you get hello back, then it means that you have installed Python properly in your computer. If you remember, while installing the Python, we have checked a checkbox stating that add Python to the path environment variable. We will make sure that that variable has been set properly. So to check that, I'm going to click on the start button and I'm going to search for CMD and uh, command prompt will appear. I'm going to open it up and here we need to type in py space minus three space minus minus version and after that hit the enter button and if you get python and then whatever the version that you have installed as the message here then it means that you have done everything right if you don't get this message and if you see py is an unrecognized command or something then it means that uh, your path environment variable is not set 
so what you can do is you can restart your computer and you can uh, check it again and then uh, if that doesn't solve your issue then you can uh, reinstall python now why it is important to set the path enrollment variable is if we set that then we can easily uh, set up the visual studio code for writing and executing the python programs so this is it guys this is how we can download and install python in uh, windows operating system if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video